What's up guys, welcome back for a new video and I'm super excited today um, because I got something that I've been after for a while now. If you'd seen my workday video where we went and worked on Logan's car, you might know what it is, but um, yeah, I'll just tell you, it's in, the, it's in the title anyways. I got a Cypher Auto steering wheel. So I've already opened this box, but I just wanna make sure that it was what it was supposed to be as far as my trim goes. Um, so in your Cypher Auto box, it'll come with a set of instructions that are pretty detailed. So this isn't gonna be really an instructional video if you get the steering wheel. And Cypher has a video online on how to do it um, in their own video. So this is just more of an install video for me. But this is the steering wheel I got right here. It is the silver, um, I guess, stitching to kind of match the silver trim around the vents. And I think the seat stitching is actually, it's kind of silver as well. So it should match nicely. Um, it's pretty close, but yeah. So super easy install, at least it should be. So we're gonna quickly throw this on and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. First things first, we want to uninstall the battery or at least the negative cable. All right, and now that the car is off, or the battery is at least turned off, there's these two little rubber pieces on each side of the steering wheel behind kind of these, where the paddles would go, I guess. One. And the second one's out, it just kind of fell down in there, so we'll just grab that afterwards. Next thing we know, the airbag is out. Oh, I hate this so much. So there's some clips on the back, I guess. And we just need to remove the horn clip. There's one. And two, airbag is out. Thank God, I hated that. All right, and the next step is a 21 millimeter wasn't too hard, I guess. Hopefully this is still recording. I just have to loosen this guy up. All right, my camera battery died, but after some tugging, I've gotten the steering wheel loose, and now it'd probably be a lot easier to just get a um, steering wheel puller. It took a lot of Took a lot of finessing to get it off, but comes straight off like that. And there's the old steering wheel. Let's jump down. We'll do like a little comparison between the old and new, and then uh, we'll install the, install the Cypher. So there are some clear differences between the stock steering wheel and the Cypher. Um, obviously, the big one for me is the thumb rest. I really like, I, I like to drive with both hands on the wheel, and I kind of grip my thumbs around the um, the controls, but on this one, I'll be able to rest it in there. Um, they have the ones on the top and they have it grip around there, which is something that I really like. Another thing is the flat bottom. That should help a little bit with like, when I go to turn, sometimes my hand will hit my knee. It should at least be a little bit um, further away from my leg when I turn. It has the nice perforated leather on the sides and then on the top, it's an actual leather. Um, on the back, it has I don't know if you can, you can kind of see it, but it's got like the little finger grips at the top. Um, and yeah, it has essentially features on a steering wheel compared to this, which is just, you know, it's old. It also has the thumb rings on the top, just a little bit, or the finger dimples on the top, just a little bit wider. 
Um, and my steering wheel is just kind of, it's just kind of worn. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, and I love the look of these. I think it looks nice. I didn't want a quick release because I wanted to retain the airbag and my speaker controls because this is how I adjust the settings on my tune. So now I need to transfer over these pieces to the cypher wheel and I might throw a coat of black paint on these, um, but I don't know. We'll see. So swapping these over and then we'll go to install. So something I want to show you guys that I didn't know. Um, so for these, the little covers, um, you can't really take them off with the steering wheel on, but you can take them off on here. So it'd probably make them a little bit easier to paint. Um, but as you can see on this one, I've already taken it off. There's some little, there's a little piece of tape right there and there's some little slots where um, some clips go around the edges. So you can see that right there. See there's the little little tabs on all the ends. So basically you'll just pop the silver parts off if you can, if you can focus. Those little silver parts right at the end there, those will pop off and then the little tabs all through there, those will pop off and then you can take these off. And just like that, comes right off. All right, I threw a couple coats of black paint on it. Um, it just needs to kind of dry up a little bit, but it should turn out fine and match the, at least the roll hoops and the front dash part. So interior will be pretty much all black, um, except for any circles, which is kind of weird, I guess, but anything that's like circular is going to have a silver ring around it. Controls are now done. Um, they came out pretty nice. They're nice for now. If I want to change them to the actual black, I might in the future. Because um, you can definitely tell they're spray painted, but I prefer them black rather than the silver. So now, all we need to do is just kind of replace everything on the old steering wheel. There it is, all back together. I think that turns out pretty good. So now we just gotta go throw it back in the car. So install is just basically the opposite of the uninstall. Um, just make sure everything's lined up, slide it back on, make sure that all your wires are tucked in where they need to be. Next thing you wanna do is take your lock nut that goes on the center. Finally, you want to plug your airbag back in, which is the part that I hate most. Just make sure that your logo is lined back up correctly. It goes in there. other in there, slide it on in there. Take your little rubber stoppers, place those guys, and we are done. All right, so here it is guys. There's really not much else to it. Um, everything is hooked up. Um, the battery is plugged back in. Horn still works, which is good. I'm gonna take it around the block real quick um, and make sure everything is as it should be and then uh, we'll finish this video up. Here's a shot from further back in the car so you guys can see what it looks like. It's really subtle. I think it matches the interior pretty well as far as like an upgrade goes because I would consider this an upgrade considering the old um, steering wheel is just kind of pretty basic. Um, but yeah, I like the way this looks. It should definitely help out with the driving experience at least. And um, yeah, I'm excited because I mean, steering wheel is something that you grab every day, you're using it, you're touching it, you want it to be nice. So, you know, this is a good upgrade. I'm super excited for it. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I took it around the block more than once because I had to come back and adjust it more than once and I'm super OCD. And it's still not perfect, but I think that's just because of my alignment or something. It's mostly me just being OCD, but it came out awesome. I love the way that it looks. Um, it feels really nice to hold and drive. 
it just it all around just adds to the interior and makes it look more sporty. So yeah, super excited by that. So give this video a thumbs up if you guys like the Cypher Auto uh, steering wheel. It can come in other trims like red, silver, and white, I think. Um, and you can find these online basically anywhere. Just Google search Cypher Auto steering wheel and you can find it for the NC Miata. Well, thanks so much for watching this, guys. If you haven't already, be sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned because we have some cool stuff coming up. Live stream is now on Sundays, I believe. So I'll schedule it for Sunday. Um, you guys said that Sundays work better. So anyways, hope to see you in the next video. And again, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.